it's on fire behind me. Hello and welcome to the Grudge Report. My name's Danny. It's dawn. I'm still on a weird island that is claimed by the Kingdom of Thailand. This really is magic hour. God damn, I look fantastic. Today's show is sponsored by Momchil Teskov. I did my best. Bernard Tennis. Jerahira. Tuman Quillen. Why can't I read? I blame God. Well, I know I'm butchering these names, but they are fantastic. And I know exactly how you feel, because my last name is Grosditch. Yeah, it has a Z in it. So, chew on that. Without their generous contributions of monies, I doubt I would have the will to continue. Well, I'd probably have the will, but not the means. Today, we're going on a jungle adventure today. By jungle adventure, I mean I'm gonna follow this paved road as far as it'll take me. And then, go a little further. As long as it's safe. Shh. You hear that? Neither do I. I go full side. Steep. The going is, the going is steep here. I'd go so far as to say that at this point we have traveled further than any human being has ever traveled before. You know, except for the people that have made the road and uh, you know, the locals that use it every day to get to and from their houses. Except for those handful of people, we have traveled further than anyone ever. So, you know, <gasps> look, the road ends, huh? Right here, look at that. Right there signifies the end of civilization and the beginning of the unknown. Well, by unknown, again, this is a fairly well-traveled road. Kind of everybody it goes to the highest point in the island, and pretty much everybody, I just, like two kids just walked by on scooters. You know, scared the shit out of me with their little horns. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go see what's, uh, what's at the top of Katow. I have, uh, I have been walking now steadily at an incline pace for upwards of eight, to possibly 10 minutes. It's actually not a hard climb at all. I just thought I'd check in uh, out of sheer boredom. Not boredom. Uh, I think it's funnier how easy it is. How civilized and cultivated. What the fuck am I saying? Uh, the road's gotten paved again. I'm guessing because of landslides, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, there's wild, feral, gibbous monkeys and cobras in the trees. At any moment, they're gonna strike and attack me. Then again, that could just be in my own mind. It's a very dangerous thing to be trapped in the jungle with my own mind. Ah! What was that? Oh, I stepped on some leaves. I have to be careful not to scare myself like that again. Hey, look. It's a, a rock. Okay. I've discovered a wild species that I think has never been seen before by human beings. May I present to you now, the wild and endangered ants of the jungle forest of Thailand. I'm watching this fucking mosquito land on my shoe. Oh, bitch, now you're dead. How you like them apples, motherfucker, what's up? Yeah. What are you all doing out here? Look at this giant motherfucker. All by himself. I know. I'm as surprised as you are to see such a, a variety of species here in the jungle. It's really, it's really quite amazing. I, uh, I, uh, I really didn't think we were gonna get that lucky today. Wow. 
the pink scooter behind me leads me to believe that there's already somebody at the peak of this mountain, which means recording the summit with the National Geographic Society. Probably, probably a waste of time. But the path has gotten a little more varied. Gone is the clear paved, hey look butterflies. Ah, look at that. I've seen three types of insects so far today. What an amazing place. We are now, we are now deep inside the canopy. We are now deep inside the canopy of the Thai jungle. I found these ancient ruin stairs that probably lead to some sort of... Ah! Oh, mosquito! You bastard! Probably lead to some sort of human sacrifice area. I certainly hope we don't stumble upon that and have to do like some kind of Indiana Jones running away sequence. Ah! Oh! These mosquitoes are for real. There's a rock formation up ahead. I think it's natural. This is obviously some sort of lava flow that has kind of created natural steps. It's uh, kind of amazing that this occurred, you know, naturally on its own. Wow. It's almost as if, you know, there was some sort of divine, you know. Uh, behind me, you can see the You know, the view. Wow. That is pretty amazing. But there's still, still some more climbing to be done, eh? I am but a simple amateur geologist. But I'm gonna say that this rock formation here behind me is at least 25 to 30 years old. Probably older. We've, uh, there's some people climbing to the very top with ropes and, uh, and stuff. Uh, Communication while climbing is critical. My very presence here as a distraction could cause someone to fall. I've decided to go through this crack area here and see if maybe, oh yeah, yeah. maybe there's another alternate route to the top that doesn't require rope. All right. This was obviously stage, as I set the camera there, but still, it is dangerous. Jesus Christ. We made it to the summit, a place many people have been but that makes it no less special. No, there is nothing wrong with your screen. There is a particle of dust on my lens. The people at the store want $300 to clean it. Because they say they have to take apart the whole phone to get at the lens or something, but I just think that's an insane amount of money. So, you know, we're just gonna be looking at that particle for a while, okay? And for those of you who didn't see it until I just mentioned it, you're welcome. Now it's all you can look at. As Sir Edmund Hillary once said, 
You never really conquer the mountain, but if you're lucky enough, you get to stand at the top for a little while. Here, I take you guys to the top with me. my second hand there. <sighs> All right. That's it, that's the top. We'll watch the sunset. I was thinking about staying up here and watching the sunset, but then I realized that, uh, hey look, a little island in my armpit. But then I realized that I'd be climbing down at night, at darkness. And, uh, you know, that's not good. So, you know, not gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna head back now. Cause it's getting uh, a little dark right now, actually. I mean, it's not like dark, dark, but it's gonna be. Oh my God. I'm walking along the forest thinking to myself, there is no danger here. I step on the biggest snake I have ever seen in my life. Of course, I'm gonna get a video of it now. Hold on. And this, my friends, is what the selfie stick was invented for. That is a snake. I will now interview the snake. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Snake. How are you today? Are you warming yourself on this road? Are you looking for some little kitty cats to eat, perhaps? That right there is the part that I stepped on. As you can see, the snake doesn't give up that I'm here. But I am not taking any chances. No, no, no. I'm not going to fool you anymore. You keep being huge. And I will keep distance. Jesus. What did we learn? We learned to watch your step in the jungle. Now that I know that that girl exists, uh, it changes everything from when I go to the bathroom to how I leave the bottom zipper open at night. I'm not like really scared of snakes, but Jesus. I love you, my little lemon drops. Do join us on Friday when we continue our very important work. And if you'd like to help out, there's a link there. Mard. What a peaceful and wonderful day.